this module, we'll return to our previous example and look at assigning a size to an array and how to access the elements of an array. If the size of the array is known when the application is written, then the array can be created and space allocated for elements in one statement. So we'll declare our xmen array in one statement since we know the size. When space has been allocated for the elements of an array, the array is initialized to default values for that element type. So for example, each element of an integer array is initialized to be zero. An array of objects, such as a string array, contains null for each element, which just means there's nothing in there. Nothing at all, not zero, not a space, there is nothing in the array at this moment. An array can also be initialized to have values at the beginning in the declaration statement. So instead of this current line, I can also initialize the array in the same starting manner, except I want to set up the values when I initialize or when I declare this array. Using curly braces and quotations for the string array, I can enter in all the values for each individual element of my array. So in the first example, I declared the array, but left all the values or the elements to be null or blank. Okay. In the second example, I've declared the array, but also set the value of each element in the array. So already, it's now known that xmen has five elements because it was initialized with five elements. There's a third method for initializing the size of an element. You may want to ask the user for how many spaces or how many elements you would like to have in your array. In this example, we'll declare the array, but we'll ask the user for how many elements they would like to have in the array. We'll declare a variable that will represent our number of array in the array, number of elements. And we'll also declare the array itself without setting the size of the array itself. We'll open up the scanner so that we can ask for input from the user. We'll prompt the user for some input. We'll wait for input from the user. We want the value be an integer. So we'll convert the string that's entered by input.next to an integer and use that to allocate the space for our array. Our array.